those of you who often ask, should Foxford go into the wash machine and dryer? Should we let that happen? What happens if we do? Well, I did recently post in my Artisans page what would happen, uh, basically some tips on how to handle your fox fur, and if you haven't seen that, there are plenty of videos on YouTube to explain that. I went out of my way to show you the end result. As you can see here from the get-go, I have the Big Z's Husky, Gray Husky uh, Fox Fur Fabric. It's one of my favorite fabrics that they have. And as you can see, it's nice, it's beautiful, it's the same inch and a half that everyone loves using. Some people use more. But then, if you put it in a wash machine that doesn't have, one, the delicate setting, and two, you put it in a dryer that you really shouldn't at all, but if, especially if it doesn't have a low tumble, this is what happens. This is the underside. This is the top side. It's burnt. It's a toasty, messy cotton ball. You can't even recognize it. Let's put them side by side so you can see the difference. You wouldn't be able to wear this comfortably and confidently if you were into fur because it's literally damaged. Whereas here is lovely and well maintained. Remember, most of fox fur is usually dry clean. You just brush it, keep it dust free, and on the awful occasion that you do spill it, water or something on it. You ought to use a damp cloth to clean it out and then brush it once it dries. Or hope that you have a washing machine with the delicate setting. It has to be delicate because this is in fact delicate fabric. It's not real fur. And even if it is real fur, I can tell you that people who have stuck real fur have suffered worse.